Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Z with Female Hustle Inc. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video on how to embroider on socks. And I will be embroidering on children's socks and adult socks. And these are socks that I am doing for a wedding. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Get ready. Okay, so I have my adult socks, children's socks, a couple of pair of small scissors, tear away stabilizer, water soluble um, stabilizer that I have cut up into smaller pieces, which I will place on top of the socks to keep the stitching from sinking into the material. Um, I have my hoop, I have my 505 temporary adhesive spray, I have my two sock um, hooping machine for the socks, a couple of wonder clips, and a box of pins, which you will need. So let's get started. Okay, so starting with the adult socks, we're basically gonna go ahead and center our design. So I'll take the two pins. I'm gonna use those pins to mark the center of the sock where the design will go. And then make sure that you have them back to back like this when you pin them. So make sure you pin them on the outside of the socks. Make sure you don't have them both pinned wrong. So, for my socks, take a little bit like this, mark my center. My center is here. Go through, take the pin, and I'm just going to stick my finger inside so I don't pin all the way through. And then just go down like this. My pin down. So that marks the center of one side. And then I'll take my sock. Turn it over because I'm marking the center of the outside. Fold it like that. So now I have my center here. I can keep my pin in my hand. Okay. Take my pin. Centers marked. I'll then take my socks, turn it inside out, and make sure that I am not losing my center when I turn it inside out. Still in. Okay. And I'll have this here. I'm going to go ahead and get some stabilizer inside of my hoop. I'm going to spray just a little bit. Don't forget to loosen up your hoop. So it's in there pretty good. Go ahead and tighten it up some. Okay. Take this up. Final point. Now we're going to take and pull this all the way through up to here. 
and just be sure that you have that pin in the middle so that when you pull it up it's still in the middle okay. try not to do too much stretching but as you can see have it there it's in the middle Okay, I got a hoop here. And then you can just find anywhere on here to place this. As long as it's within, within where you put your spray. And so I'm gonna spray it again because it's already dried up a little bit, which is why I have this here. I don't wanna get my hoop ball gooky. So. going to take it over to the machine okay so we are going to go to my folder get my designs okay all right since we're starting with the adult socks we will start with the first one here on the list which is going to be 700 and something stitches transport these individually and I'm gonna change my hoop So it's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pin. Okay. Get my stabilizer. Okay. 
And you can take a piece of, um, or take a, a little damp towel and get this off, but there's no need because it's coming right off. And then here. So it comes off really easy. Take my scissors. Clean it up. There you have it. Going on the back. Just a little clean up. You don't want to cut too much of this off the back. Okay. I'm going to grab, I'm going to turn this inside out and I'll grab the other side. So there's one. Here's the other. See, we get it like this. And there you have it. Perfect pair. There you go. So now we're gonna do the children's socks. We can use the same stabilizer. Okay. So even though these are children's socks, I am actually able to use the larger hoop for them. Um, I do have this hoop, but if you can see um, the point from here to here, is a lot smaller than the points here. Now I could try to work it out, but it's not even necessary for me to use this one because of the fact that these socks are actually, you know, they're big enough to go on the, the bigger hoop. So if I was using, um, doing infant socks, like, um, toddler and infant socks then I can I can use this and I'll probably come back on and do another video using this one but we're gonna go ahead and, and use this one and um, I'm gonna do the same thing make sure that I have the socks lined up first fold them in half Now the centering on these are gonna be a little bit different because of the fact that they don't have the lines going down um, like the adult socks did, but it is gonna be easier to center them this way because of the fact that it doesn't have that extra gap here. So, I'm gonna do the same, turn it this way. Put my hand in there to make sure I don't rip both sides of the socks. Okay, so there we have it. Now I'm going to turn them inside out. And I'm going to make sure I don't take the pin out of its place. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn them both inside out. Take it, put it on in here, all of them, 
taking my pants and coming out. Let's stretch it up. Stretch it over here. Stretch it over here. And now I'm going to shift it just a, a little bit because of the fact that it's not in the middle. So I'm going to move it into the middle. Or more in the middle. And make sure that it's um, that the pin is straight up and down because you don't want to have crooked lettering. Okay, so I'm gonna spray. Okay, guys, I just wanted to do a quick insert to this video. Um, one um, tip that I forgot to mention as part of this video for a beginner doing socks. Um, I have this Taylor's chalk that is good to use for marking fabrics and whatnot. So in this particular situation, um, you can use this to mark the position on where you want your lettering to be placed. So obviously this is the center of the sock. I didn't grab the pin or anything, but this is the center of the sock. So I am just taking and lightly marking horizontally because when the pin is in place, it's gonna mark the position going vertically but you don't have anything to say how far down you need to come so that it is perfectly centered on the sock. So I just wanted to just pop in real quick and just give you that one tip. And then I also wanted to say that um, the reason why I am using the easy sock or the two sock is because I previously had a one needle machine and that is what I was using and now I have a multi needle machine. I have not purchased the eight in one which is used for the larger machines. So um, this tool does still work with the larger machines. It's just, um, it just takes a little bit longer but until you do purchase that eight in one um, with the larger machines, you can definitely use the the um, two sock tool. So. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it off lightly. Pop the back. Cut them just a little bit, not too long, like I said. You don't wanna do too much cutting on the back. Okay. 
just a little. Okay. So this pretty much comes right off. I had a more intricate design, then I would just take some water on a damp tile and get the water soluble off, which I don't need to do because it's not an intricate design. I'll throw that little piece off. Turn them inside out. Okay. So here we are. And you can see. Take them. Place them towards each other. And there you have it. So we got a pair of child socks. and a pair of adult socks. Now these socks that we have here are for a child, probably about six or seven, uh, maybe eight, so not toddler, um, a child sock, so. Okay guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And hopefully you learned something about how to embroider on socks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a video.